David Horowitz knew how to expose this radical student. You have to check this out. Will you uh, condemn Hamas here and now? I'm sorry, what? Will you condemn Hamas? Would I condemn Hamas? As a terrorist or a genocidal organization? Are you asking me to put myself on a cross? So you won't. I, I actually have had this experience many times. You didn't read the pamphlet because the pamphlet is chapter and verse. Uh, the main connection is that the MSA is part of the Muslim Brotherhood network as revealed in the documents. I don't think you understood what anyway, I meant by that. I is, meant if I say something, I'm sure that I will be arrested for reasons of Homeland Security. So if you could please just answer my question. If you condemn Hamas, Homeland Security will if arrest you. If I support you. Hamas, because your question forces me to condemn Hamas, if I support Hamas, well, I look really bad. If you bad. don't condemn Hamas, obviously you support it. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> I have had this experience, uh, I give you, I had this experience at UC Santa Barbara where there were 50 members of the Muslim Students Association sitting right in the rows there. And throughout my hour talk, I kept asking them, will you condemn Hezbollah and Hamas? Uh, and none of them would. And then when the question period came, the president of the Muslim Students Association was the first person to ask questions. And I said, yeah, before you start, will you condemn Hezbollah? And he said, well, that question is too complicated for a yes, no answer. So I said, okay, I'll put it to you this way. I am a Jew. The head of Hezbollah has said that he hopes that we will gather in Israel so he doesn't have to hunt us down globally. For it or against it? For it. Thank you. Thank you for coming and showing everybody what's, what's here. I don't even know what to say about this. That was the most chilling <clears throat> chilling video I've ever seen. That student is just, you could just feel the hatred and the, oh, it was just, it was upsetting. David Horowitz, Horowitz knew how to get her to admit that she was for Hamas. Because in the beginning, because she wouldn't condemn Hamas, he knew that she was for it. And she was trying to say that she can't answer correctly because if she does, she can get in trouble with Homeland Security. So David Horowitz is like, well, okay, that, that shows that you are for it. But the story that he shared about um, this guy hoping that they would all gather in, um, in, in uh, Israel so that he didn't have to hunt them down. I mean, just hearing that piece of that story t for me was like, for anyone to hate people that much is just evil. But he caught her and he asked her right at that point after he said it, are you for it or against it? Do you condemn it? Whatever it is. Are you for it or against it? That's what it is. And she was like, when she said for it, <clears throat> the biggest thing that came to my mind is why is she here? Why? Why did she come to the United States? Or if she was born here and she's an American citizen because she was born here, okay, why are you still here? Why don't you go to Gaza? Why don't you go to go join Hamas? Why? Why are they here? She's sitting there listening to a Jewish speaker and she obviously is hating his guts. That is just sad. So sad.